Ladies and gentlemen, no, you didn't read the title wrong. Black Ops 6 is already getting updated. It hasn't even been a week and we are already getting new content in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Today we got a new mode as well as an update, which we're going to go over in this video. But on top of that, we got a trailer. A trailer for what is coming Friday. And let me tell you, if you are a long-term Call of Duty fan, specifically, if you played Black Ops 1, this is what's going on this week. Howdy there, it's your old pal. To welcome you to the one and only Nuke Time to clean house. Breaking a gate. It's a wonderful world. Love is Unlock the Vault Edition today. So here it is. We actually kind of got two new updates today. So the first of which is this, which you were looking at here. So with the launch of the game, the game came out and we already have two new things. First of all, Infected Mode is out now, as well as the Endeavor Tracer Pack that came out on launch day. But on the first, we are getting Nuketown. And now it is confirmed that Season 1 is coming on November 14th. It says free content update, new maps, new modes, and more. So let's dive a little deeper into this and it says new updates arrive on the heels of launch bringing the original Black Ops 1950s Nuketown map for multiplayer mayhem plus infected right now. So if you didn't already know literally right now as this video goes live you can go on and play infected. It's a party mode that they have already added into the game. Now we already had a look at the Nuketown launch trailer which I have to say if you played classic Black Ops 1, this literally looks like just a rejuvenated version of that. And I will be very interested to see what the Easter eggs are on this, because as always, there's always a Nuketown Easter egg. And of course, we'll dive into that further on Friday. As we mentioned, Infected is live now. And here's another look at Nuketown. Uh, it says the original Nuketown is back. This homage to the version players first encountered in Call of Duty Black Ops is an exact though graphically much improved version of the original, keeping the 1950s design of the Nevada testing site for the first time nuketowners and returning veterans alike, here is the lay of the land. So then takes us a little bit deeper into Nuketown, but as per usual with my channel, I like to dive into the story of Call of Duty. So before it comes out this Friday, let me give you a little bit of background on Nuketown, at least some of the origin story that we know so far. You see, in season one, we are getting Area 99, which essentially is the origins of Nuketown. This is a facility out in the middle of the desert, which creates these Nuketown facilities and ships them all over the world. You see, the map that we currently have in the game that is a strike map known as Warhead is not a nuketown. In fact, what this map actually is was shipping vehicles were driving these buildings to a nuketown facility. However, the vehicles then crashed and dumped the buildings, the buses, and everything in between into the desert, and then it kind of became overrun by the desert in and of itself. That is the difference between Warhead and Nuketown. And as you can see here, this is what Nuketown reimagined, reinvented, whatever you want to call it, is. This is the Nuketown for this year. And if you're a classic fan of Call of Duty, I definitely think you're going to like this one. Now, speaking of which, coming to Area 99, we know that it is coming at the start of Season 1. So, the blog post says this, At the start of Season 1, deploy to the new Area 99 Resurgence map in the free-to-play Call of Duty Warzone update. Also set in Nevada Desert, so just like the original Nuketown, this top-secret government site is just miles away from the original Nuketown location. See where it all began by exploring the mannequin assembly plant, the factory warehouse including pieces of Nuketown homes in development, and much much more when season one launches. So when is that exactly? 
That would be November 14th, like we talked about at the very beginning. Now, it also goes in depth more as to what we are getting with season one. A colossal amount of free content like all new multiplayer maps and modes, a terrifying new in-season zombies map. So keep in mind that when it says that, it may actually be referring to like in season, like in season, season reloaded. So the zombies map may not be coming to like December 14th or about a month after the launch of the season, as well as the introduction of Omni movement and Black Ops 6 weapons to Warzone. So new maps, new modes, terrifying in season zombies map. So assumingly at season one reloaded that will come. The other things that this blog post goes over is first of all, we have the call of duty endowment tracer pack. I don't normally focus too much on this, uh, but this is, this one is for a good cause. All the proceeds actually go to the call of duty endowment to help veterans. So I do point that one out and I do have to say the merch that they have does look pretty damn good. I must say. Now, as I mentioned, though, an update did come out today. So on the 29th, so a couple days before Nuketown launches, an update went live, which I'm assuming added infected to the game, but also made some changes in game as well. So first of all, for the UI, it improved certain cases of image streaming in front and menus. So nothing special there. Long loadout names now display properly. Uh, in multiplayer, weapons addressed an issue where certain weapons would lose a specific attachment upon match start, so essentially a bug fix. Stability added various server-side stability fixes. This one I was surprised by because when I was streaming earlier today, I was having a ton of packet burst. Speaking of packet burst, if you've been struggling with it as well, maybe you should check out my merch down below because I actually have a t-shirt that can display on your body, which you get displayed to you in-game. Yeah, I made a packet burst t-shirt. Maybe this helps with it, but I was struggling with it earlier today. And then zombies, this one's important. Terminus closed an exploit on Terminus that allowed players to temporarily lose targeting. So in other words, temporarily get away from zombies. Liberty Falls had a similar update. Also, they had players can now only individually interact with the bank vault combination lock three times per round. Players were using this to kind of go to the bank vault. They would shoot a bunch of zombies, and then when they got too close, they'd interact with the vault, and then the zombies would run away, and they would do this over and over again. Uh, this now won't work as well, but it'll work three times per round. Now, if you're wondering a cheese for getting zombies headshots, check out my video that I put out yesterday. It'll be linked down in the description and after the video. I found a way to get quite literally your 2,000 headshots that you need in zombies in one game every single time without getting attacked. It is super easy. Also amazing way to level up in game. That'll be linked down below. That one has not been patched yet. You do have to make one adjustment to what I did in that video, but I put it down in the comments of that video. So just check out that video if you're at all interested in that. So essentially that is what we learned today. Infected is now live. On Friday, we are going to be getting Nuketown. And then finally on November the 14th is when season one arrives. And we should be hearing some information relatively soon as to what's gonna be inside that season, the season one cinematic, everything like that. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so to stay up to date on everything Call of Duty and everything Black Ops 6. I have a banger of a video coming out later today. So stay tuned for that. It's the one all of you have been waiting for. It's a story one. It's what we do around here. So subscribe, notifications, and get ready for it. It's a good one.